options. Improved Well Creek. There we go. Definitely improved our lot. And we gained um, their navy as well. Well, they don't really have a navy, but anything's better than nothing. And we gained an interceptor. Fair enough. Whoa. They have a lot of divisions now. Twenty, uh, 50. Bloody hell. Actually, we just have um, infantry armies of 10. That's a large army, though. Separate the cavalry out. I could upgrade these guys later on to be, like, our uh, armor. But yeah, we are pretty powerful right now. We might not have the best, but still, that's a lot of men. Okay. Hmm. I'll redeploy down here. Wait for the rest of them to deploy. Intellectual support. Right, poets, painters come. <laughs> right, our regime. I'll make a little concession. Kurdistan. Right, we have forces on the border. Um, I could do with some forces over here actually, so I'll just put them there. Yeah, we need to build up. But soon we'll be able to take over Burma. I mean, just look at our manpower now, 3.6 a day. I mean, we could potentially deal with Japan on the mainland now. Okay. Right, so let's send an offer to the... Well, an ultimatum to the Mongolians. Hmm. So that would be war, so I guess I'll wait for the rest of my forces to arrive. There we go. So, war with Mongolia. The Empire will grow. Yeah, they can't stop this. The VP is only here as well, so we just need to take that. I don't think we have an airbase anywhere else. Um, how are we going on economic then? Oh right, so we're actually producing a tactical bomber. Ah, built a naval bomber, fair enough. Oh yeah, building a few airbases actually. I'll let those airbases continue. Uh, we do have a lot of spare IC, so I'm going to really churn out these factories. We just need oil. Can't build in the south. Oh, right, there we go. Build more factories. I could do with improving the e, uh, transport capacity as well. Nanjing really has a hell of a lot of um, IC. Okay. We really need to kick this industrial into overdrive. Yeah, there we go. Could really get a lot of factories being produced. Look at that. 
we become practically a fully fledged nation. The Welt Creek hasn't started yet, so Germany's still ascendant for the time being. They are having problems, but it's not that bad. Right, Indonesia has been released. Who are they with? Right, so Indonesia is part of the Entente, basically. Okay. I think we should declare war on Burma. There's oil here, and I need that oil. Do they have anyone guaranteeing them? Nope. Alright, split this army in half. Ah, split 10 5, why not? There we go. Cyprus. Germany annexed the Indo Chinese Federation. Interesting. Right, so uh, Germany is actually recovering slightly, so that's good for us. We really do need them. Okay, they're going to push into these areas over here, but it doesn't matter. Right, soon we'll border the Russians. So the Russians have become market, well, market liberals. Ah. Viktor Chernikov. Very interesting. Austro Hungary is actually growing. Well, Austria Hungary is growing. It's a really interesting result. Hmm. Azerbaijan. Hmm. Fighting with Egypt. Oh, we have a revolt. Oh dear. Where is this revolt? Ah. Redeploy divisions to deal with that. There we go, another air base. Right, there we go. I'm hoping that we can just annex them by taking their VP, because it'd be really bloody annoying if they... yeah. Ugh, another revolt, damn it. Hmm. Ah, oh, god sakes. Right, we wiped out those rebels. Rebels, gum. Sea plane carrier. Let's go for the light carrier. My voice seems to be improving slightly. I did have a sore throat earlier, so it seems to be okay now, actually, which is really nice. At least it's not as bad. There we go. No Burma. No. Right, we've taken their capital. Can I annex them? No, damn it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I hate that mechanic. Oh. God damn it, it's going to take ages now. The two of the question. Hmm. They can't be trusted. Hmm. 
Right. Oh, wait, we might be able to annex Burma. No. Mother! Where's their last VP? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I should fall pretty quickly then. Can't redeploy over here, can I? No. More industrial capacity. Okay, there we go. Oh dear. Oh, well, that was lucky then. Burma is now ours. But how long does it take to move? Yeah, well, we now have access to oil. So we can actually start trading for that, really. Well, we'll do in time. Oh wow, this is going to be more annoying than I thought. Hmm, Turkestan's declared war. Oh god damn those fucking armies. Right, at least we have another tactical bomber. So I can deploy that one over there. That's just really irritating. Should have had forces over there I guess. Oh well. Oh well. I do need mountain troops. Hmm. Oh good. The Burma rifles. Synthetic oil. Okay, we we'll wipe them out over there. Great. Yeah, we should be able to get into a position where we could just drive the Japanese from. China, but look at that, that's looking great. Oh god. Oh, the Russians have annexed that. I mean, I could have tried to take that, but yeah. There's still time. The Empire must grow. Right. It shouldn't take us too long. And then at least we'll be able to push uh, into a position to take Siam. So I'll start moving troops accordingly. I'd love to take India as well, that'd be huge. Yunnan has been defeated, well that took his time. <laughs> I mean, come on, but I will. Alright, still building all these factories. Okay, oh no. 1942 infantry, I need them motorised. I love the fact that we have German expertise as well. That's great. Sturdy vehicles would be great for us as well. Hmm. Uh, tropical equipment would be nice. We'll try and get that. Hmm. Skill 6. We have all these troops here, so I guess I'll move them forwards. 
But Germany is still holding out, which is good for us. I mean, just look at our borders. Our borders are huge now. This is a large China. Redeploy down here. But I'm happy that we have an ax well, have access to oil. Right, I think they can do fine, so if we can uh, use these forces here, then at least we can keep the Mongolians out. There we go. Attack over here. Right, that's one VP down. Get this last one and we're done. That was a really annoying move by the Mongolians. Yeah, I mean, once we have our IC, then we can really start churning out a lot of shit. Get that oil and start trading as well. I'd love to take Indonesia. Right, there we go. Fuck you, Mongolia. Lovely. Ah, oh, isn't that just beautiful? Lovely. Absolutely lovely. What a lovely day. Right, we're legation cities. The legation cities were the richest coastal cities of China, now they're under foreign control. With the southern provinces in our hands, we should try to regain these lost churches as well. As however, provinces are treaty ports, as their core contains significant foreign investment and capital, it may be unwise to antagonize all of the major world powers. Demand for reunification. Hmm. We'll wait for the time being. We'll wait until the Second World Creek begins. Right, well, we're in a good position, actually. I mean, we could... Move a lot of men to the border Korea. And then, with 10 divisions each on the border, we'd be in a great position to try and just divide the Japanese mainland. Well, forces on the mainland. Okay, should we go for Siam? Let's go for it. Are they guaranteed by anyone? Nope. War! What is a good war? Okay. Spanning China's borders like never before. Right, the Chinese flag flies over Uruga. Our armies defeated the prophetic Steinberg and occupied his lands of now Mongolia, which was taken by the Russians when the empire was weak. It is ours again. Great. I just love the amount of bloody hell. Eight. Bloody hell. A nice gift for Russia. Hmm. Spell that enemy. Um, hmm. Though we'd no longer get those. Let's, um, let's let him live. Let's see what he could do for us. If anything. Alright, Chief of the Army. Armaments Minister. Hmm. Right, land unit speed, that's really nice. Okay. So once Siam falls, we'll have enough troops to really just cover every border with um, Japan. Okay. Let's keep all this uh, factory production going. We'll be really strong then. In only a few years, we've reunited most of the empire. The question of the Trans Siberian Railroad. Now that Mongolian is ours, and the question of Steinberg's fate is done, there is just one problem. What to do with the territories which were taken from Russia from Steinberg, well, by Steinberg, and through which goes the Trans Siberian Railway? Give them to Russia for free? Give them to exchange. exchange for an aggression pact? Keep the disputed territories. Which territories are those? Ah, right, the far north ones. Hmm. 
I like the non-aggression part. I'll do that one. Russia accepts. Okay. At least now... Offer alliance. Let's see. Oh, god, here we go. Has the second battle creek started? Versus Malaysia. No, it's just Brit uh, Canada's decided to go for it. That's really brave. Really brave. I want to take Turkestan. Really badly. If I can keep um, influencing the Russians, then I could try and bring them to the table and maybe form my own alliance block. I just can't believe how much manpower we have. Like, goddamn. Okay. Hmm. If I have more men over here, then... I mean, I'm not going to be able to hold that border with just those cavalry, so we'll just wait and see. Okay. Uh, the Iberians have been naughty. Ooh, we have our rocketry. I really want to develop that. I want jets. Okay, right. Continue working on our aircraft program. Well, aircraft carrier program. Hmm. Right, the theoretical secret weapon. Seriously, getting rockets would really put us in a good position be able to get bombers and all that sort of jazz but we really need to build up the navy we need to obviously keep increasing the size of the army but yeah we're doing pretty good so far bulgaria has declared war on romania right i mean we have a lot of cash so i think i'll invest in national infrastructure there we go um do we have any other vps here no just the ones in the south so in time they'll be ours and we'll have even more oil in our, well, hands. Hmm. Oh, all that juicy I see. That's a lot. Fantastic. We're really becoming something of an industrial juggernaut. I mean, we have so much manpower. Improved oil refining. Oops. Ah, Sarawak. God damn. All these nations just trying to break free from Germany. Poor guy. Okay. Let's upgrade our cavalry. Cavalry is pretty useful. Okay. Let's gonna have a drink of my coffee. Ah, lovely. The Chinese New Year Rabbit. Today, February 1st, begins the seven-day-long uh, seven celebrations of the Chinese New Year. The year will be of the rabbit. The rabbit is one of the most delicate among 12 animals. Uh, rabbits are usually kind of sweet, and of course, people, uh, popular people, oh, nobody knows them. They're good company, and okay, why is this talking about fucking rabbits? <laughs> Random. The German Empire annexed Libya. Way to go, Germany. Way to go. This has not really happened as I expected. I mean, I can't believe Mexico. God damn. I just love the amount of manpower we are. We need to make something with it. Okay, not too long until we can annex Siam. I really want to take India. Yeah. I'd love to make my own alliance block as well. So let's keep influencing the Russians. But I need to use this manpower. It's begging to be used. Right, we take this last VP and then we're done with Siam. Right, motorized infantry. 
Now let's take a look at armor divisions then. Oh, there we go, with Steinberg. I think we should really um, start producing armor divisions and motorized, to be honest. Ah. Bulgaria annexed parts of Romania. That's a big ro uh, bull. Yeah, That's a big Bulgaria. God damn. Right, finish. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's annoying. Why would you do this to me? There we go, keep upgrading our cavalry. I might produce lots of cavalry actually. It's a little bit faster and it could be quite useful. Right, there we go. Let's annex Siam. Goodbye, Siam. Fantastic. That is a really interesting looking China. Really interesting. Okay, the legation cities. 100 years since the Opium War. 100 years ago, the imperialist British attacked our then great Chinese nation. We will not be beaten like that again. Relations with China decreased. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fuck you, China. Uh, Union of Britain, annex Iceland. Okay, have fun with that one. Okay, well. I don't know how long this session has been. It feels like it's been quite a long time. Uh, so, I thank you guys so much for watching so far. And, um... Let me know if you want to see more, to be honest. I'm really enjoying this so far. I mean, should we try and take over Japan? I think it'd be doable. I mean, maybe if I invested in uh, paratrooper technology and an air force, I could probably do that, just negate the entire naval factor. Let's take a look at how many VPs they have. They have VPs all over the place. A lot of them over here. But if we've got enough troops over there, then that'd be good. If we could try and get them to send more troops to the mainland, then yeah. Or should we go for India first? I can't go for Delhi because, um... I actually, are you a puppet? Oh, it controls Nepal as a puppet. Oh, should I go for Turkestan? Turkestan, Turkestan, Turkestan. I want Turkestan, to be honest. There's a lot of oil here. I really could... Oh, they're fucking fine, Russia. Fuck. Well, that <clears throat> option is denied to us. I was hoping that we could use them to get to India. Uh, to Persia. But yeah, we need to... We need to make the empire larger. China must grow larger. Or the empire. Yeah, I'd love to get this territory from Germany as well, but, oh well. We'll see what happens in the future. I mean, the legation cities, that's another option as well. Could try and uh, fully unify over here. I mean, um, how much IC could we gain from them, potentially? Well, there's three here, one here. So, a little bit of IC, but anything's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, we're putting loads into consumer goods, so we need to try and reduce that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again in the future. So, for now, goodbye, and say hello to this weird-ass Europe. Yeah. That's, uh... Oh, wow. So, the Ottoman Empire broke up. Interesting. Yes. Goodbye, my friends. And remember, if you enjoyed this, you can always go ahead and support me by subscribing, liking, favoriting, sharing with your friends. And, of course, if you want to go that extra mile and really make my day, you could go ahead and, uh, well, donate to my PayPal, which is on the channel page. All of that would definitely go towards just making the channel better in any number of ways. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.